What up guys, Artyom is here and today I will tell you how to create a neural network that can predict 3D image of an animal by a single photo. We will take a look at two papers, Articulation Aware Canonical Surface Mapping and its follow-up, Canonical Surface Mapping via Geometric Cycle Consistency. Both from the same first author, Nilesh Kolkarni and Facebook AI Research. Let's start. Let's look at a simple example first. Obviously, this is a picture of a cube, right? And we know how it looks in 3D. But it turns out that there are so many different geometrical shapes that can give exactly the same looking projections on the camera plane. Cube is not the only feasible solution. The task is very ambiguous and looks like it's not possible to get a correct answer without any prior knowledge. Our goal is the following. We look at a plane RGB image and would like to get a clue how does this animal look like in 3D. No, no, it's not that difficult as you thought, because we will incorporate some priors. We will assume that for each animal category we have a reference 3D model. What is left is to find for each pixel of the animal a corresponding vertex in 3D mesh. This is not all yet. We also need to estimate the viewpoint and how to bend the reference model to fit the image. In other words, we need to know the pose of the animal. Ok. Let's get to the details. First, we parameterize the sphere using UV coordinates. For example, it can be done by taking longitude and latitude angles and using U and V as a sort of measure of these angles. The real values of these angles are easily calculated by mapping values of U to the range of minus P to P radians and mapping values of V to the range of minus P divided by 2 to P divided by 2. And then, using these angles we can get 3D coordinates x, y, z as is shown on this code snippet. After that, each vertex of an animal's 3D mesh can be uniquely mapped to a point on a sphere. A simple way to do it is to put a horse inside a hollow sphere and shoot rays from the center of the sphere through every vertex of an animal. Alright, now we have a bidirectional mapping from UV coordinates to a reference animal's 3D shape. Next, we model animal's articulation. For this, we first manually divide a 3D model in 7 body parts. Yes, unfortunately, we cannot avoid this step and human labor is necessary. After that, the articulation is modeled by rigid transformations of the vertices of different parts relative to the body. And this way, we can get a horse standing or running, for instance. Alright, but how we put it all together and learn a network? The first neural network will predict UV coordinates for every foreground pixel and we will get a corresponding 3D vertex on a reference shape. Here the corresponding vertices and pixels are marked with the same color. Next, the second neural network will predict articulation of the mesh, namely rigid transformation of every body part and a camera pose. To get this thing going and training, we construct a cycle from pixels to reference 3D model, then from reference model to the articulated mesh, and then using the camera pose, we project the articulated mesh back to the image plane. And now we compare how far did the pixel location drifted compared to the starting position. That's it. Using such a cycle loss and training on a lot of images, the model learn whatever we want. With these networks we can fit 3D models to different animal images. For completeness, I will just mention that you also need to know what is foreground and what is background. So there is one more loss which helps to learn this type of knowledge. And this loss requires ground truth binary masks. To give you some more examples of why rigid transformation is necessary in this case and why articulation is so useful in this type of modeling, we can look at these images which show key point transfer from one image to another by first mapping some key points from first image to 3D model and then from the 3D model to the second image. When model is not articulated, then the key points are completely off compared to the full model which utilizes articulation. We have discussed a pretty interesting approach, despite it has some limitations. You need to know the reference 3D shape in advance and the training requires ground truth segmentation masks. In terms of precision, there is also room for future work. I think that 3D animal understanding is very exciting direction and it's very underexplored compared to human pose understanding. If you want to play around with this method, I will put a link to the GitHub repository in the description. Please click like button if the video was helpful and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you next time.